This is the 2015 Key Stage 2 Mental Mathematics Levels 3 to 5 test. Listen carefully to the instructions I am going to give you. I am going to ask you 20 questions for the test. I will read each question twice. Listen carefully both times. You will then have time to work out your answer. On your sheet, there is an answer box for each question, where you should write the answer and nothing else. Some questions are easy and some are harder, so don't worry if you cannot answer a question. For some of the questions, important information is already written down for you on the sheet. You should work out the answer to each question in your head. Do not try to write down your calculations. This will waste time and you may miss the next question. However, you may jot things down outside the answer box if this helps you. If you cannot work out an answer, put a cross in the answer box. If you make a mistake, cross out the wrong answer and then write the correct answer next to it. You will not be able to ask questions once the test has begun. If you have any questions, you may ask them now. The recording will now be stopped. I will start by reading a practice question to show you what to do. I will read the practice question twice. Then you will have five seconds to work out the answer and write it in the answer box. How many months are there in one year? How many months are there in one year? Now put down your pen or pencil. Now we are ready to start the test. For this group of questions, you will have five seconds to work out each answer and write it down. Question 1. Add together 7 and 77. Add together 7 and 77. Question 2. How many tens are there in 120? How many tens are there in 120? Question 3. What is one quarter of 200? What is one quarter of 200? Question 4. How many minutes is it from 11.25 to 12 o'clock? How many minutes is it from 11.25 to 12 o'clock? Question 5. How many grams are there? In 0 0.1 kilograms. How many grams are there in 0 0.1 kilograms? For the next group of questions, you will have 10 seconds to work out each answer and write it down. Question 6. How much must be added to six pounds eighty to make ten pounds? How much must be added to six pounds eighty to make ten pounds? Question seven. Add together eighteen. 
and half of eighteen. Add together eighteen and half of eighteen. Question eight. Subtract ten lots of ten from one thousand. Subtract ten lots of ten from one thousand. Question nine. Look at your answer sheet. Put a ring around the decimal that is closest in value to three quarters. Look at your answer sheet. Put a ring around the decimal that is closest in value to three quarters. Question 10. A number is doubled, and then 20 is added to the result. The answer is 64. What was the original number? A number is doubled, and then 20 is added to the result. The answer is 64. What was the original number? Question 11. How many quarters are there in two and a half? How many quarters are there in two and a half? Question 12. What is half of 0 0.7? What is half of 0 0.7? Question 13. Write the multiple of 6 that is closest to 40. Write the multiple of 6 that is closest to 40. Question 14. Subtract 1.3 from 3.1. Subtract 1.3 from 3.1. Question 15. Write Three quarters of a million in figures. Write three quarters of a million in figures. For the next group of questions, you will have 15 seconds to work out each answer and write it down. Question 16. Double 30, then subtract 5, then double the result. Double 30, then subtract 5, then double the result. Question 17. The perimeter of a rectangle is 30 centimetres. The two longer sides are 11 centimetres each. How long is each of the shorter sides? 
the perimeter of a rectangle is 30 centimeters. The two longer sides are 11 centimeters each. How long is each of the shorter sides? Question 18. Subtract 54 from 540. Subtract 54 from 540. Question 19. 200 grams of cheese cost 2 pounds 40 pence. How much does 1 kilogram of cheese cost? 200 grams of cheese cost 2 pounds 40 pence. How much does 1 kilogram of cheese cost? Question 20. What number must you multiply by two and a half to get 20? What number must you multiply by two and a half to get 20? Now put down your pen or pencil. The test is finished.